Thank you. I made a Thai basil beef served with rice. The flavors are really complex. I get the heat, the sweet, and it's really delicious. The, the problem is the beef, it's almost dry. Did you season the rice? No, sir, I didn't. I figured that the beef uh, and the basil would have enough flavor. You were right. Thank you, sir. I'm going to walk it back. Okay. Thank you. Baba, please step forward. The idea was what? Ranch stew. Did up, decided to cook the cornbread on top. Cornbread's actually quite nice. It actually tastes better than the savory ground beef underneath. Flavorful, but pretty simple. Thanks, brother. Next, Nandini. I made ground beef with fresh spinach, cilantro, and mint with Israeli couscous, peanuts, and potatoes. Everything's cooked properly, but it doesn't scream out and explode with flavor. It's almost one-dimensional. You've actually got quite a nice depth of flavor in there. It's nice. But it's very rare you serve the couscous and potato, because it's starch as either one or the other. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Monty. I am absolutely beyond belief nervous. I just don't want them to vomit. What is it? It's a beef roll. I have currants in there. I have cumin, paprika, goat cheese, and then I wrapped it up in a pastry dough. The beef is delicious. Thank you. It's brave. Very brave. Love the technique. Less cheese, more flavor on that beef. Keep that apron. I want to. Back in line, Monty. Thank you. It's just too simple, you know. It's not like a nice idea. It means we sat right there. It's broken right, right, right. up and it's too dry. Yeah. Monty, please take one step forward. I'm sure your son misses you. I'm sure he's super proud of you. No matter what happens. Promise me that you're going to continue your journey with food. Yes, sir. Well, with that promise, I'll promise you a spot in the MasterChef kitchen. Well done. Going through to the MasterChef kitchen feels like I've been given the biggest gift in the world. This is my one opportunity to make my life work out for the betterment of my son. And I am not gonna throw it away. Bubba and Nandini. You guys prepared dishes that showed the three of us that getting into the MasterChef kitchen is sadly just a little beyond you. Please take off your aprons. Thank you. I just got booted. I had to turn in my apron. Good luck. Thank you. They can turn me loose now and let me go back to my swamp. Christine. Yes, Chef. Were you happy with the dish you put forward? I think the beef could have been cooked less. You feel you still belong in the MasterChef kitchen? Yes, Chef, I do. I just want the chance. Christine. With 16 home cooks already through to the next stage of the competition, Christine's future is in the hands of the MasterChef judges. Christine. Yes, Chef. You feel you still belong in the MasterChef kitchen? Yes, Chef, I do. I just want the chance. Christine. You're going to the MasterChef kitchen. I just 
just feel really relieved that I made it past the first challenge and I want to make it to the top. I want to show everyone that, hey, there's this disadvantage I may have, but there's really no excuse that you can't be the best that, that you can be. All four of you, step forward. Courtney, first up, let's go. The dish is a... It is a spaghetti bolognese. Brave move. Attempting to make a bolognese in under 60 minutes. The pasta's done nice, but the actual bolognese, the sauce, it, it's very sweet. Rami, let's go, please. I just call it a grape leaf patty. The side of cucumber yogurt and some pickled vegetables. Vegetables pickled beefly. Yet you look at the beef and it's slightly like gray and sort of gone off color. Mm. It's bold, it's confident, but I think that conceptually it's a little bit stretched. Next up, please. Thank you. The inspiration. I wanted to make a faux bone marrow, the meat and potatoes with uh, roasted vegetables. Smart idea for the bone marrow. Nice and savory. Vegetables undercooked. Root vegetables aside, the good thing is that the beef and potato works really well. It's tasty. Thanks. OK, Shireen. This is roasted eggplant, and it's stuffed with garlic mash and ground beef with a tomato butter sauce. Did you taste it? I did. I did taste it. Did you taste the raw eggplant? My favorite thing on that plate is the tomato sauce. Potato really doesn't add anything to the dish. Okay. Courtney, please step forward. You're an opera singer. That dish was your swan song. You will not be returning to the competition. I'm not exactly sure what just happened. To be that close, it's a little bit rough. I do believe the judges made a big mistake. Shereen, step forward, please. Do you think today's dish warrants you a position in the MasterChef kitchen. I believe the dish shows my potential. You do. Unfortunately, we don't. Please take your apron off and leave MasterChef. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Both of you, step forward, please. We've seen a ton of potential in both of you. But only one of you is going through to the MasterChef kitchen. Rami, you think you're a better cook than David? I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I was. David, you think you're a better cook than Rami? Yeah, I do think I'm a better cook than Rami. David. You are not. Going back to Southside Chicago. You're joining them. It feels awesome to be part of the top 18. I'm just ready to cook and I'm ready to show what I got. Rami, please take your apron off. I'm sorry. You're leaving MasterChef. Thank you. It's disappointing that my journey in the MasterChef kitchen is shorter than I anticipated. I honestly felt that it was my apron. But I'm here being judged by people who are better than me. So I'm not going to question that. Congratulations, Line Lighting. Well done. Amazing. I'm in the top 18. All of you, come over. Oh, my god, man. Top 18 competed against thousands. Down to 18, and I'm in it to win it. After tasting literally thousands and thousands of dishes from all across America, we are here. One of you is the next master chef. is on. Tomorrow night on MasterChef, the top 18 take their places in the MasterChef kitchen. This kitchen oh. is your culinary theater of dreams. The competition rapidly heats up. Fire! Fire! 
Stand back. Just stand back. Battle lines are drawn. The duck was better executed by me. That was a bitch move. And a surprising twist turns the competition around. What the heck is going to happen now?